Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we are going to learn how to create Scrum project in Jira. Now, creating Scrum project in Jira is basically uh, the responsibility, most probably your Jira administrator will be creating the Scrum project or Kanban project in Jira. But uh, uh, in Jira Cloud, uh, Atlassian has introduced two types of projects. So one is uh, the classic project, which is basically very similar to what uh, you would have seen in the Jira server version and the next gen project. Now, classic project still cannot be created by end user, but by default, Jira Cloud has provided ability to end users to create the next gen project. Okay. And that creation or that uh, ability to create next gen project for the end user can be controlled by Jira administrator. So please note that if in your organization, you are not able to create any of the project that means that your jira administrator hasn't provided you permission to create the next gen project all right but by default once you will sign up for jira and if you go to the project section and say for example i go to view all projects now creating a project you can simply click on projects and click on create project or go to view all projects and you will see a create project uh, button here now, if this project, uh, this button is not available for you, that means uh, you are not allowed to create project, right? And by default, all the users in Jira will be having ability to create the project or create the next gen project, not the classic project. So you can see here, I have classic Kanban, classic Scrum. These projects only Jira administrator can create, but next gen Kanban, next gen Scrum, these projects can be created by the users in Jira by default. So that's how out of the box Jira Cloud um, provides. Now to create a project, you simply have to click on create project. Once you click on create project, you will find the options. So basically we are creating this current project in this tutorial. So uh, you can select the classic or the next gen, right? Now, if you are the administrator, you will have this option to select the classic project if you're not you will only have the option to select the next gen project or create the next gen project now what exactly is the difference between the classic and next gen project classic project are more similar to what we have been seeing in the jira server version so they will provide you the full feature set advanced configuration and more reports so here are some of the comparison that you can see i won't go into you know too much detail about the features that are available in classic and next gen project so in the next gen project they are uh, rebuilding the jira software from you know ground up to make setting up the projects easier right so anybody can set up the uh, next gen project they don't have to do a lot of configuration and they are for independent teams right so uh, this is this is what a uh, next gen project is it has limited reports and then there are many other features that are not available in next gen project but you can create scrum project either in the classic or next gen project both okay so to create a, a classic project simply click on classic project and to create a scrum project you simply have to um, pick a template scrum template all right so when we say scrum temp template you simply select the scrum template here which is basically more suitable for the product development team so simply select that and the template will be set here now what you have to do is you have to simply provide the key for the or name of the project okay so what i can say is i can say um a scrum sample project so for example i'm just providing any name there and you can see here that the key for the project automatically gets assigned now if you want to change this key you can change it here by providing the name and the relevance of this key is basically this key gets associated with all the issues um, uh, that you create and then you, it is easy for you to search the issues basically based on the key right so you can find the issues very easily or the project easily so this 
key is the association uh, between the project and the issues within the project all right so when you create the issues the issues any new issue will be incremented the key will be incremented but uh, the key uh, so the number against the key will be incremented but the key will remain same across all the issues within that project now if you see the share settings with an existing project this is not available in the free plan so you need to have the paid plan uh, to have this you know uh, create a project with the shared configuration on Jira Cloud. Now, once you have selected this, click on create and the project will get created. So this is how you will create the Scrum project. And as soon as Scrum project is created, you will be redirected to the uh, board and the active sprints. Okay, so this is about the classic Scrum project. Now, if we want to create a next gen Scrum project, the process is exactly same. You simply have to create the project, go to the projects, either view all project or simply click on create project and it will open the same window. If you want to select the next gen project, click on select next gen project and change the template to Scrum. Provide the project key. So I'll say uh, next gen uh, scrum sample and rest all will you know remain same so you have the key associated automatically unique key and then you simply have to click on create so now once you click click on create the scrum project or the next gen scrum project will get created successfully and you will be redirected on the board the scrum board so that's all that is required to basically create a scrum project in jira cloud and you have two different types of project available in jira cloud basically classic which is more similar to the projects that we have seen in the jira server version and the next gen scrum project which is the new type of project that are easy to set up and maintain for any teams okay now um, the other thing to note here is that if you're not getting option to create the projects in Jira, that means your Jira administrator might have restricted your ability to create the project in Jira. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching.